Hello everyone, this is Family Frog Crafts. I want today, I want to kind of show you how to make some inspired epoxy badge holders. If that kind of makes any sense at all. Um, when I say badge holders, and I just kind of, oops, I'm dropping everything. I just mean like these little guys right here, where, you know, you just kind of put your badge on it for work, you know, if you work in the hospital or wherever. You know, that you need a badge and it's easy to hold. So, and this is kind of got inspired from watching another YouTube making pop sockets out of something similar to this. So I figured I'd kind of take her idea and wing it with the badge holders. So down below, you will see all the materials that you will be needing. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I already have my epoxy mixed up. And I'm also going to be using alcohol ink with all of these as well as my epoxy and a little bit of some glitter. Okay, did I just lose the cat? Oh no, I did not lose the cat. Alright. Where did I do with my tweezers? There we are. Alright. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and pour my epoxy first. Which this took me about okay, five minutes depending on your brand. And I'm just going to not put a whole lot in there, but of course it depends on your, um, what you put it inside if you do. But yeah, you don't need a whole lot. You just need like a little bit. Because I know these little cups, little circle things here look like the, that you will need to put like a whole lot in there, but you really don't. That hair in there. Nope. Okay, well that's apparently dripping. Mm, okay, maybe not. So I'm just going to kind of, hold on the other one, there you go. And like I said, not a whole lot, just a little bit, but, I mean, I know it's, oops, I mean, this thing just likes to drip today. Um, but I know a lot of people like to use huge ones, or like to use a lot of epoxy, I just think that's a waste. And right now I'm just trying to pop these bubbles out as best as I can. Ooh, all right. So what I'm trying to do is take my little pieces. So some of these are gonna have keys in them. Uh, I've done ones with keys. I've done one with little animals. Um, so yeah, no, I'll do this one. And we do do these depending on which way you want them. Make sure they're facing the right way, or they're gonna look really weird when they are done and then you're kind of not going to be happy. And I'm just going to keep putting all these in there, trying to figure out. And so I'm kind of using my tweezers to figure out how I want to place them. Yeah. And I just keep, oh, there we go. That one might need a little more epoxy in it when I'm done. And I'm getting epoxy all over me. Move that one up. There we go. Alright. And then put my little kitty cat in there. And I'm going to move him around. Alright, so this one just needs a little more epoxy, not too much. There we go. And I'm just gonna let that drip all over that. Take my heat gun, my little torch here. Pop all these bubbles out. Make sure there's no bubbles, even after you add stuff in it. So with the keys, I wanna do alcohol inks. Oops. Forgot my thingy. There we go. Alright, so with these, I want to do alcohol inks. So, with, so of course, these are orders. So, I'm just going to do, like, you know, a dab or two, depending on how many um, colors you're using in one. And this one's going to do blue. If I can get it unscrewed. 
So, normally I do like a few drops of one color, and then I'll add some white, do another color, do some more white. You know, kind of like back and forth stuff. So it depends on what you're kind of going for. And with the way I normally do about four or five drops with these. And then I'm going to add a little more. Just a, like a drop, like maybe two more drops of the first colors that I did. Actually, now I'm thinking I shouldn't have done that. And then maybe a drop of white in each of them again. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to let those be. And then with my kitty cat one, it was kind of hard to see. I want to do... Yeah, this one's what I want to do. Come on. So I'm going to just do little, little sprinkles. Kind of hard to see. Like little flowers, really, really cute. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them in my hand. And see how well this is going to play out with my tweezers because they have so much epoxy on them. Oop. Okay, maybe not. Okay, well, apparently they want to stick with the epoxy. Alright. Well, I might have to get something else. So I'm just going to kind of, yeah, I guess I just have to sprinkle them in. And then I just want to push those down. As much as I can, if it'll let me. Kind of, there we go. Pull it around or something. No, I don't want you attaching. Oh, you can touch with that one. Yeah, no. Oh, there we go. So, as you can see, I've been kind of using the tweezers a lot. Oh, there we go. Actually, this looks, don't want that going in there. Actually, this might be, but there we go. Okay, so I guess you can sprinkle them in, depending on your preference. And I'm just going to try to push these down a little bit so they're actually in there, because next I'm going to be adding some glitter. And it will push. There we go. So I'll show you what I've done so far. My camera here. So, so as you can kind of see, that's some of the epoxy, and then this is the little kitty cat one. So when you do do these, especially if you're doing like some kind of charms, make sure you put them upside down, or you're gonna, or it's not gonna look really good. I feel like I need to add more white to some of these. So with these alcohol ones, just kind of let it do a thing. For a, like a minute, and then if you feel like you need to add some more colors or whatever, you can. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close up my glitter guy here, and then next I want to add. What I'm gonna add some of my glitter, and wait, whoops. So I'm going to try to kind of just get it in this one. And you don't want to push on the glitter. Because if you push on the glitter, it's going to push all the way into it and it's not going to look pretty. I can tell you that right now. I already learned my lesson from that way. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just kind of scooch it towards the edges as much as possible. Without really disrupting anything per se, and and if I need to add a little extra, I'm try um, you can, because after all this, I'm probably gonna have to end up sliding some of this down, especially the glitter. And now I'm gonna have a glitter mess to clean up. Yay! All right. <sighs> I can't believe I did that. Alright, so, that's what I kind of did with my glitter, and of course as you can see, I got it all over my table, awesome. And then these are my alcohol inks, 
which some of them are looking kind of cool. And then there's my pink one. I got I think got a little blue in it, but I think that'd be okay. So with these, I'm gonna go ahead and let these settle in themselves down for the next 24 hours or so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop them out, and we'll see how they look after they are done, and then we'll get them glued back on and get them glued on to the batch holders, and hopefully they look really good. So I'll see you guys in about 24 hours. So what we're going to try and do a bit, is go ahead and pop these out and we'll see how they look. Get that out of my way. Alright, let's see how these little guys look. Oh, I can actually like them. They look really, really good. Oop. That was really cute. So, once these are all cured and you pop them out, um, you, on the back of them, you're going to feel kind of rough. So, you want to sand those down. And that one was kind of a random one, which I should still kind of turn out really cool, though. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to sand them down. You can use whatever you want. Um, I got this little kit. It actually helps. Especially if you're using glitter, definitely sand it down because as you can see, it has some rough spots, especially on the edges. So you definitely want to do that. Um, you can try and use any kind of sandpaper you want or your, if you have a Dremel that has a sand thing, I use that too. But I find this little nail file kind of sanding thing down works so much easier. I feel like I get both sides or almost all the way around pretty well. So we're going to send these in real quick. And we'll be right back. Okay, so once you have all these sanded down and ripped out and whatnot, so basically you just sand them down and then you kind of take them over with some, like a softer sandpaper kind of thing to make it a little bit more smoother. And so that's what I did with all of these. So I love how they turned out. They're amazing. I love the pink one. Really pretty. Um, you can use any kind of glue. You can use E600. Um, I'm using the Gorilla glue because I really like it better. It seems to hold it better. So what we're going to try to do is take our Gorilla glue, take our batch holder, and I'm just going to put it all the way around, maybe. Okay. So I'm just going to do... Bunch of dabbing all the way around the badge holder here. And this is not coming out as good as I want, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so make sure you kind of get almost every little nook and cranny you can get. Because this needs to be really, really well. And also, when we do put the, bat, uh, the epoxy part on it, on, um, definitely you want to make sure you're putting it on the way that you want it to. You don't want it upside down. Unless it's like, you know, a funny joke for somebody or something. But, so, you can kind of see as good as it's going to get. And I'm just going to kind of set it down. There we go. Made those on my way. And I'm just going to kind of center it as best as I can. Make sure I have it faced up. And what I'm going to do, oh, hold it, I'm going to put it upside down. And, oh, okay. Kind of make sure where I wanted it. And center it, and then you're just going to leave it alone. So you see how I'm going to have it face down like this. So you want it kind of centered. And then you leave it alone for a few hours, for at least two hours at minimum. But it's going to turn on... Tell you for fully curing, it's gonna take another 24 hours. So all in all, this kind of takes about almost two days to make these. But to be honest with you, I like it, and this glue does not like me. Mm. Um, I like it because it's something unique, something you don't see. Everybody has, you know, kind of thing. Eh. I'm just gonna have like force. Out oh, this glue. What the heck? This glue really doesn't want to go on. But 
yeah, so it takes about almost, give, like I said, give or take, about two days for these to truly, truly set. So again, I just did another one. Kind of made sure I had it the way I wanted it, so it's not lopsided. Um, and if you're doing something like this with pop stoppers, um, I can ma also make a little YouTube video on how to make pop soccer pop sockets. I'm sorry, pop sockets out of making these. So, I'm going to go ahead and let, so once you have all those glued down, um, my little glitter one, I had to use a little extra glue. Just Here's the picture I actually took after a few hours of them drying. I'm going to still let them cure for the next 12 more hours, just so I know they're fully cured. Um, but all in all, I like how these came out. They look really amazing. I hope, I really do hope this tutorial helped, inspired you to kind of get creative and kind of think outside the box. And do your own kind of unique badges, badge holders, whatever you decide to use them for. So... I hope you like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.